Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how I install my horn wrap. I have everything ready and set. I have my uh, roll strap here tucked underneath. Uh, there's a hole in the fork about two inches below my uh, uh, my horn, my base of the horn. And I put my screw in there. I have number 10 saddle screw, about one and uh, one quarter inch. And I have a, a stainless steel washer, countersunk washer, it's a decorative washer from Jeremiah Watt. And I have the this back edge of the slot uh, in at the half middle of the of the horn of the neck of the horn and this is the way I, I do it and it works for me and uh, my uh, my horn wrap I'm using uh, Latigo which was skied off just the very very top of the of the grain so it's it's like a suede but very top of the suede part uh, of the of the Latigo um, it's it was well cased it was wet in the morning and it was put in the bag for six hours or so so the moisture will get through it properly and it will be easier to work with and I skied off the edges uh, on this top edge when it will be over the horn I like to leave it a little bit thicker especially here when it goes over the top of the, the horn and then uh, this bottom edge I like to get a little bit thinner about leaving about a millimeter thickness so I don't go all the way to the to the feather edge and uh, I already checked the fit so I tapered from the full width which is about one and uh, a three quarters of an inch that's my favorite uh, size of the horn wraps for the uh, weight saddles especially with bigger horns and then I go all the way up to maybe up to one to one of uh, seven eight and uh, but this one and three quarters is, is, a, is a nice size uh, the only thing I like to have enough leather when I go over the horn so it's it's covered then to the bottom and it doesn't lift so this size is, is perfect and um, I what I did with this uh, wrap I used some saddle soap uh, this one as well just to give it some slicker uh, thicker finish when I wrap it so I can get really tight so that I don't have too much resistance and I have my cinnamon strap here ready that's for tightening the smoothing down the, uh, the wrap after it's it's tight so I'm gonna show you at the end and it's also uh, it's cased and I used my saddle slot as well I have a few tools I'm gonna show you as I as I use them uh, for for shaping and uh, this is here a pattern that I use for for this slot and a hole so it's at, at the about 45 degree angle and it will give a nice round shape it works for for this configuration so we can start my saddle is uh, in my uh, throw down strap so it doesn't move around I can go really tight and if your stand is, is strong enough uh, you can do a really nice nice job this needs to be really tight so we i don't have my screw all the way in so at the end i can just tuck it in and then i screw it completely in and um so from here i could do my first wrap and then all the way to the top so uh, just getting really nice and tight and getting getting up and here what I'm trying to achieve to have enough leather to cover my my back edge of the horn and now I pull very very tight tighter you can get it better and trying to hold it with my other hand just to check if I'm, if I'm kind of straight I like to have about, about half of the width on top and half going down. So just check if there's if it's straight. It looks nice and clean. So let's go get nice and tension. When I do my second wrap, I'm holding with my palm. 
so it doesn't go check again before I cover it looks good make sure I cover all these loose ends as high as I can get so it doesn't come loose this is why it's good to have this top piece full thickness especially here I can scrub it here I can scrub it here by leaving this top edge because then it won't lose the shape over the years and I mean it's nothing tight it will it will it will hug the horn from the from the top so keep it nice and tight going around again and always overlapping I can see this this wrap isn't a little bit too low I'm getting higher if I can should be fine I'm always checking if this top didn't move looks good Tight. Checking if it's tight enough, it looks perfect. Some people they only wrap on the side. I like to protect the stitches on top when it's uh, roping. So this is gives some extra protection. It's fine. Check again from here. Last wrap. So now here I'm trying to make sure there is no gap here, and the uh, wrap goes actually over the edge here everywhere. I don't have any gaps. Need to check for that. This last wrap, maybe the previous can be a little bit lower. Better. Tight. Now we have to fit this end. I put a little taper here so it's easier to fit through this through these parts and I'm gonna put a little spike here to open up a little bit. And I'm gonna put this end here. Come out, you can see the end now coming out. Make sure if you have these spikes for the factory, sometimes they're really rough. It's a good way to, to when you use them, it's a good idea to polish them. So when you pushing through, uh, especially wet leather, or uh, you don't want to have any scratches there. And now I have to get it really nice and tight. There are a few wrinkles there, but now as we have have it tight. We can take, I like to use a, a ball pin hammer. It's a nice polished round face. And also a porcelain uh, doorknob. So, first we're gonna just create a little groove. When uh, when the uh, roper is using the lasso, you want to have 
a nice groove on, on the bottom so every delay goes on top. So we want to have the bottom and a nice groove. It doesn't matter if there is any bridges from the hammer, from the hammering, just get, create that, that groove first. Get out all the wrinkles if there are any. Then I use my doorknob, which is bigger face, to get rid of that, that hammer, hammering. It's a nice smoother finish. Little ball folder, another great tool. Just do get a nice clean finish. Now, oh, don't stop at this stage. This is not finished. Even if it's smooth and you think it's tight, even if you use a lot of force. It needs to be slicked down and this will really help to get it much much tighter smoother so you wrap it around here is the uh, the one end with the hole and I use just a hammer handle actually use a smaller one And I'll hold this end and get it as, as tight so we can move around. If it goes too easy, just keep hold on this end and tighten it a little bit more. And just keep moving around. Make sure you don't hit anything, any leather with, the, with your hammer, so any metal parts better. Hold it with your hands, and this will really get it nice, nice and smooth. And start again in the bottom. So check now. And this will lay everything super tight. Create a nice groove on the bottom. And this will create. Some extra slack maybe, so we can just pull again a little bit more if needed. And uh, actually, I'll keep on going for a little bit more until I'm super happy. So I can see there's a little bump here. We're gonna pick it up. tighter you can put more wraps around but then sometimes it can get stuck so you just have to kind of feel how much pressure you need to and just now it's getting really tight this is what I like it doesn't have to go fast but you really want to go tight
do it until you're happy. One more, one more round. And I think it should be, should be fine. Okay. Now let's have a look. Nice and smooth. Paste. This is a nice finish. Uh, what I'm gonna do uh, when it's dry, it's gonna be two days of drying, and then I'm gonna put my uh, final. Um, let me use this on the Latigo OC from Fibbing's leather conditioner. So I'm gonna. I also use this on the rough out parts. On the saddle, and all the parts there underneath the horse, underneath the saddle, close to the horse, because the it has beeswax and it's a very good protector against the sweat. So this is my preferred finish because I want to give some extra protection. This will just add a little bit of slickness now. I can use my uh, bone folder just to give a nice just to slick it down. Especially this this joint because there is the first wrap here and the then the as it goes up and down as, as the last, second last and last. There's the three letters meeting together. If they meet, you have a nice, nice meeting point. So that it looks nice and clean. This I use for slicking edges, usually on latigos. That's why I use the wax and soap. So I use, I try to go mostly this way as the a roper will use his left hand he will go this way that's why you're wrapping the horn th that way if he's a left-hander he will use right hand to ro to ro to put his rope and then he has to wrap the horn wrap the other way around but here keep it this way nice and smooth you pull the end again but it looks nice and tight and now is the time to finish the screw it goes through the latigo through the rope strap through the uh, fork leather and then down into the saddle tree that's it this will never come loose because this this washer is actually quite wide and it overlaps this last piece by about half an inch so it will actually uh, keep it nice and tight so you don't have to uh, use any more nails or screws or anything to to so it doesn't come loose and uh, only thing you can do uh, nice sharp scissors we can just Slick finish, especially on the bottom. I can put a little bit more of the saddle paste. I'm pretty fussy about this uh, finishing, but these little extra steps will make the finish project much better looking, clean edges and it will actually last longer one more one more coat and now we can just trim off there's going to be actually a, a, a set of bucking rolls so it doesn't 
need to be very long, it will be covered and nice clean cut. So it's nice, even, it's nice and slick. And now we're gonna let it dry before we put the final coat. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this uh, this technique or anything else, you can leave me a comment. You can send me a message. Uh,